Hey everyone, Bobby here from tabletcrunch.com. Hope you're having a great new year so far. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you two very fast and easy ways to troubleshoot the Wi-Fi connection um, on your iPhone device. This is applicable for iPhone 5, 4S, 4, 3GS, all the latest iPod touches as well. Um, this is if you're having intermittent Wi-Fi connectivity issues or your, um, your wireless network is grayed out and your list of networks available, or you just simply can't connect to your wireless um, network where other devices you have may be connecting just fine. So this is not an end-all solution. Of course, there could be a lot of other things happening uh, between your router, your network, your device, um, but these are two fast ways to troubleshoot and see if we can't get you fixed up on your iPhone. So first thing we wanna do is tap settings. On this next screen that comes up, you see airplane mode. I want you to turn that on. You'll notice up in the upper left-hand corner up here, um, the network and cellular signals disappear, replaced by that um, airplane icon. Wait a few seconds and then turn that airplane mode off. And then you'll notice once you turn it off, it's going to go back through the motion. It's going to bring up your data connection. Um, it's going to bring up your cellular connection. Um, what that did is basically it renewed the IP address and flushed all the DNS settings out of your device. So um, once you've turned the airplane mode off and you've seen all your signals come back on, go ahead, go back to the home screen, open up your web browser, open up your apps, see if that, doesn't so see if that didn't solve your Wi-Fi connectivity issue. If you're still having issues, here's another quick way to troubleshoot. Again, let's go back to settings. This time, right underneath airplane mode, you see Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and tap on Wi-Fi. And then I want you to find the network that you're actually connected to. In this case, there's only one. It's Samson. That's the one I'm on. You'll see this blue circled arrow out to the right. Go ahead and tap on that. That'll bring up this screen right here. Next, I want you to do, next thing I want you to do is hit forget this network. Down at the bottom, the screen will come up. Are you sure you want to forget the network? Go ahead and hit forget and then you see it disappear completely. And then you notice also down here, basically deleted all of the IP, router, DNS, um, client IDs, basically deleted the network completely from your iPhone. Okay, next what we wanna do is go back to our list of Wi-Fi networks. You should see the network still available, it's right here. Um, now what we wanna do is tap on it and we wanna get connected back to it. This particular network is password protected, so I'm gonna to have to enter my password. And you will need to do the same. If by chance you are on a network that is not secured, as soon as you tapped on that network name, it should just connect automatically. Uh, mine was secured, and then once I hit forget this network, of course it flushed out the cache of that password, so I had to re-enter it. And that's it, once you get connected back up to the network, Go back to the home screen, open up your web browser, open up your apps, and see if that did not solve your Wi-Fi connectivity issues. Um, that's it. Those are two easy troubleshooting methods um, to hopefully fix your Wi-Fi connectivity problems on your iPhone. Again, applicable to iPhone 5, 4S, 4, 3GS, and all of the iPod Touch versions as well. My name is Bobby. I'm with tabletcrunch.com, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.